Um, first order of business is approval of minutes. Second. Uh, minutes have been approved. Uh, second item on there is the economic development and staff will provide an update on the fast ferry pilot project. Thank you, Mr. Chair, uh, members of the committee. Just give you an update. Um, today's, so for the last two weeks, we've had ferry service uh, from Des Moines to Seattle. Uh, the first week was free, and then the second week we've um, charged $10 uh, each direction for um, seniors and active military, it's $5, and for children under 13, it's free. And simply stated, the response of the community and the engagement with the ferry and the number of riders has far exceeded our expectations. Um, it's been warmly embraced by the community. We've had a number of, of full uh, sailings. And it was interesting because toward the end of the um, period, right before we began the service, we needed to have a couple of discussions with the Port of Seattle regarding um, our respectful uh, protocols uh, for Indian fishing rights, Native American fishing rights. So we were able to do that, satisfy that we would be utilizing best management practices in terms of the sailing in the, in the sound. Um, the city of Seattle, in all their wisdom, decided that our ferry may not uh, comply with uses for the city. And we were kind of struck by that since they have these large ocean cruisers that come into the Seattle waterfront. But those issues are either happen or are being worked out. At any rate, we were able to start unobstructed. The first um, two sailings, I think Mayor Mahoney was on the first one and Deputy Mayor Buxton was on the second one. And all we've heard is positive comment. And We've heard from at least one restaurant that their patronage is up as a result of the ferry ridership. And so I think there are a lot of ways to look at ferry service, but this being the Economic Development Committee, I think that what we're seeing is that the ferry service helps act as a catalyst for economic development and for interest in the city. And it, it's, it's been great because a lot of people have been exposed to Des Moines the first thing we realized that we needed was um, a listing and map of restaurants and locations people can visit. So we've been working on that. We like to get them in the boat and also on the on the um, dock, like a boards that kind of identify what, what what those locations are. So that's in terms of destination. It, that's been a huge plus putting Des Moines on the map, and we hear all the time, incidentally from organizations, the, the Seattle business persons the, along the waterfront and everything. People are talking about this, not initiated by us, they just bring it up. Um, our, our consultant Robert was at a meeting of a number of very um, significant developers and business owners and they brought it up on their own and started talking about the Des Moines Ferry. So I think it's been received on all levels really, really well. And this will also serve as a catalyst for our um, redevelopment efforts on the marina and um, help put the city on the map. And I just, I'm going to share a couple things. And this could, um, at least our chair is going to hear this presentation three times tonight. <laughs> but, um, but let me just hand these out to you. Um, these are just brief summaries that Katie um, put together. And what you can see is that through through today, which is halfway through week three, our receipts from the tickets at the moment exceed twenty thousand dollars, and that's for two and a half, for, well, one and a half weeks actually. So if we retain anything like this pace of collection of of revenue, it's going to have a profound impact on on going forward what we can count on and what our fares are and all of that. But a couple of things for this committee especially to be thinking about as we go forward, and we'll talk more in the budget process, is if this is successful, which it looks like it will be, 
what's our strategy for moving forward? And that would be both financially, this was a phased, obviously two months. Do we extend that? What To what length of time? What's the audience we're trying to capture in the future? And how do we fund it? And one thing I'll mention that more in depth at council, but none of this is paid for by property taxes, by the community per se. It's all one-time sales tax off the large-scale developments. So I think that's been um, really outstanding that we were able to do this. Um, there's a lot of people that have been involved in this process, just fantastic team. I will introduce everyone, hopefully, at the council meeting when we talk about this, but I just wanted to brief, brief this committee. Um, I think that, you know, as I said, this, this was beyond our expectations in terms of success so far. Do any questions I can answer, comments? Uh, thank you, Michael. So uh, an additional comment, I, I had an extended visit with our uh, market manager, who, of course, is in con contact with a lot of markets around, including Pike Place. And as she was doing a, um, a perusal of Pike Place, interviewing vendors for other reasons, uh, everybody knew about all the Pike Place vendors knew about the ferry and that we're talking about it to people and people were talking about it to them. So it, it's very, it's the chatter down at Pike Place. And uh, so I, a question about um, the extension. So you mentioned an extension. Would that be, if, if that was even an option that we considered, would it be an extension of the current pilot into uh, October, November like that? Or would it be something that we would do like a 2.0 May to October next year or something like that? Yeah, I think, I think that's exactly. Um, I had lunch with Susie recently and, uh, and we talked about that. And there's, there's a, couple of, a couple of issues, but and, and I don't know, but I think we'll know more at the budget retreat where we can come up with some options. But what I'm thinking is perhaps a phase two that's longer but starts next spring and maybe it coincides with the market opening. Um, I think one of the issues that we'll need to address in all of this is um, how we go about dealing with parking. And I think that's fair, um, especially, you know, we've got um, the bulkhead potentially coming online at some point here. Um, and there may be some other strategies to address that, which we'll explore with council. But yeah, that's that's phenomenal. That's the same feedback I get. You know, it's like everybody knows about this. And what's really cool is Des Moines, you know, we, like a small community, we did this ourselves. We're not beholden to the feds, the state. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with federal or state money, but we're not, <laughs> we're not beholden on any level to that. We figured out how to do it. Peter Phillips was phenomenal and and it's working. And I think it's just beautiful to see a concept go into practice and be successful. Great, thank you, Brett. No, I would just echo with what my fellow council members have said and, and um, it's, it's pretty incredible to see these numbers and, and so it would be interesting to just watch them and see what the trends are and, and where that takes us and I think that so far, you know, I mean, the, the, the look at the future and, and, and the planning and the thoughtfulness, and this is the reason, as we've said before, the reason we're doing this now is so that we can make informed, smart decisions for the, the continuation of this, this project or not. So I, I congratulations to you and your team and, and all the work that you've all put into this. And there's a, I know there's a whole host of folks, and including council that, that has supported this. and in various levels and and I think that um, you know this is this is really going in the in the right direction it's going in a direction that that we knew a long time ago it things needed to be and so it's it really it the, the fruits of the labor are starting to to be here and starting to be harvested so thank you well um, my only comments are is that since I have to hear it three times I'm gonna make my comments three times <laughs> because they're important uh, we are ahead of the game when um, developers are trying to put together uh, foot ferry services on let's just say Lake Washington that haven't come to fruition yet um, but they're working on it and we've proven that a small community can put one together and be successful um, second of all my other comments are um, it looks to me from the data that we've gotten 
is that more people have come to Des Moines than have gone to Seattle. Is that correct? And then second was that um, a pamphlet that shows the Des Moines restaurants and attractions in Des Moines. I mean, we've, my family and I have traveled to Victoria several times and we pick up on the Black Ball Ferry, mm -hmm. uh, a map that says, okay, here are all the attractions and what streets and everything like that. And, and that would be my only suggestion. And it looks like you guys are going into that. So um, I'll turn it over to you. And, uh, I appreciate that. As far as Councilmember Pennington, we were thinking about trying to, you know, uh, lease the fire boat for overflows, <laughs> and <laughs> but 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 I think but 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 the chair makes a really great point, and the point being that we have to maximize this opportunity, and that means people coming to the city. I mean, you can imagine whatever positives for our community currently exist when we're able to complete the marina steps people can walk up those steps and be right there in the downtown and that that's going to play into all of this so um i think we're really we're really excited and yeah i don't i don't think we have enough quite data to analyze that your point we will we will provide that kind of analysis as we go forward and have kind of like stronger data in terms of the the amount but um yeah you know and i think too the council needs to take a lot of credit for supporting this you know and people, what, what I hear about people say about Des Moines, which is really cool, I was on the phone the other day with a really significant developer, and he goes, yeah, we're going to go ride the ferry on Saturday. And I said, well, he goes, how do I get on? I said, well, here's Link. The, uh -uh. All the sailings were booked. Oh, no. <laughs> they, had to change, they had to change their plans. What a great message to him. Right. Yeah, you know, so very cool stuff. So, but, you know, it was... Um, like I said, this is a beta test. It's it's going well now. We hope it continues, and we'll have a lot more data to provide to council as we as we move forward. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you, City Manager Matthias. Um, is there anything else that my colleagues would like to hear or have any questions about? We're uh, we're 15 minutes in and got a few more minutes if we need them. Um, is there anything that was on the work plan that anybody would like to give us an update on? And I think, did you have a question? Dan has a question. Mr. Dan? No, Dan has. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so what we're planning is kind of, it's it's been a function of a number of things. We've had the hiatus from COVID for over two years now. Um, you know the, the 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 macro economy in terms of cost of money and the uh, interest rate structure and all of that quantitative easing has stopped and there are implications for all the things that happen with development so we thought what we wanted to do and we've tried to reserve the night of february 20 or uh, sorry september 27th um to do a, a community input meeting um regarding kind of where we are and looking at the marina redevelopment with some um, new uh, wrinkles to that and just engage the public. We think we'll do that at the activity center. I think we sent a note to council to reserve that time uh, if you're able to come. Um, it'll be noticed, so it'll be fine for you all to be there. And so that's one thing that um, we're currently working on and more to come with that, but we think it's time to check back in with the community. All right, with that, we're uh, at the end of our meeting topics. Um, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, staff, for everything.